So, Fernanda Andrade, welcome to Entertainment Affair. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time today to chat with us. We're excited to have you here. So, you come out on Next, this show that has to do with AI and all kinds of stuff. I don't want to go into it too much because I want you to talk about it. I watched um, one episode. I didn't get a chance to watch the rest, but I will go back because it is a personal favorite of mine, and I'll tell you why. Um, but tell me about this show and your role in it. Okay, well, Next, uh First, uh, human level, actually superhuman level artificial intelligence being created and it really, go, it's gone wrong, right? It's, and worst case scenario. And so we're trying to race against the clock to stop it. Um, you know, I feel like we've heard it before. Elon Musk talks about how artificial intelligence is summoning the devil and he talks a lot about how we need to start regulating it because this could really go awry and and and, and my character Shay Salazar um, meets John Slattery's character. He he kind of plays this Elon Musk type of guy who did create that intelligence and um, it's kind of slipped from his fingers and gotten away from him and he knows the danger that it poses. He knows how terrible it could be and he's trying to stop it and when I meet him we kind of team up to try to stop this thing but it's really you know, I think as humans, we don't really understand, we can't understand what it's like for something that was superhuman intelligence. It keeps getting smarter. It can exponentially make itself smarter by the second as it learns. So it's, it, it's something that time is of the essence and we're always falling behind. So it's, it's fast paced. It's really fun. And the stakes, you know, couldn't be higher. So how is your experience working with John Slattery? Oh, he's amazing. He's, you know, I, 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 I was a fan before I met him and, and I was so delighted to, to watch him work and to learn a partner in this, you know, I feel like I, I feel like I just won the lottery. It was great. He was, he was amazing and, and elevated everything. Now tell me, you were mentioning um, that you are Shay, you are an FBI agent in charge of the Cyber Crime Division. So first of all, um, I want to say thank you for taking a role that really um, helps, in a sense, elevate the Latinos in the United States, because for the most part, Latinos don't tend to be, you know, uh, cast as, you know, someone in charge of something like that. So that was one of the things that I absolutely loved mm -hmm. about your character, because you come and you're a force to be reckoned with, and like, you're in charge of this division, um, you know, and, and you throw in a little Spanish here and there, and I, I love that. So you are actually Brazilian, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, born and raised. Nice. So I like that. I like I like that. And I I'm, I was telling you that I, I really loved the show because, you know, and I've only been able to watch one episode and I said, I'm going to go back to watch the remaining because I really liked it. It left me really intrigued. Um, I, I actually studied I actually studied criminal justice and I took a course on cybercrime. So that's why I was like very excited to see the show. And it's something that really like it's the type of shows that I love watching. So I loved watching you in it. I love the premise about it. But tell me, you were talking about, you know, this and, and something that in a sense is happening today. Is that what kind of drew you to this role? The fact that it's so, it feels like so present day yet foreign at the same time? Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, when I read the pilot and be taken by how, how high the stakes became so quickly and also how real, um, how real it was because I think for me artificial intelligence was always kind of like a distant thing and something that I didn't I didn't understand or something that was like you know I grew up watching Terminators and mm -hmm. so I think that it was it, it looked very different to me and yeah. I think reading the script and shooting this first season made me like realize that this is very much already fully integrated into our lives into our finances into medicine to I'm talking to you right now and and I think that that reality became Manny Cotto did such a great job at writing that reality in a way that you feel it and it hits you home. It hits home. It's a, it's a very personal threat. And, and that was, you know, that was really exciting for me. So tell me um, the two last questions. One of them, how uh, did you have to do any kind of specific research for this? 
to take on this role as someone in charge of a cybersecurity? I did the best I could. I have my husband's, one of my husband's best friends from childhood is a police officer. He's a detective and he knew some FBI agents. So I was fortunate enough to ask him some questions and to be able to fact check some things and to just try to gauge, you know, behavior and what it really looks like because from the get go, um, when I talked to all of, you know, to Manny and to John and Glenn, I, they were so adamant about this being real and, and real and these people having um, a real understanding and, and a connection, but also Shay's character, you know, mm -hmm. my character, she, even though she's in the cybercrime division, this idea of AI is still hits her like a truck. You know, it takes her a minute to, to even begin to buy into um, what John Slattery's character introduces to her. And I think it becomes an experiential truth that she can't deny that makes her go, okay, let's go, I'm in. And uh, I think that, I think that I tried to make her as, as real as possible. And I think that maybe unlike the, the typical FBI agent, you know, she works in cybercrime specifically because um, for personal reasons and that you'll find out later, of course, but there's something about people that work with computers that makes them that there's a comfort level in that, right? I'm not going out and facing somebody. I'm mm -hmm. not a cop on the street. I'm not right. So there's a comfort to being and throughout the show and the season, you really see her being forced and pushed to do something that she very much feels like she was not prepared at all to do. And you see that in all the characters to being pushed beyond their limits. Um, and, and I think that that's what, you know, despite her having this FBI uh, background, I'm sorry, you having, besides her having this FBI uh, career and life that she's built, um, what, what next demands of her is something that she never knew uh, could even come out of her, I think. And I love that. I love that you were able to be very authentic to it because of, you know, these people that you were able to connect with. Um, like I said, I really liked it. It's something uh, that hits kind of close to home because I kind of wanted to be an FBI agent and all that kind of stuff. So it's something that I, I love watching because it's oh, like I'm, okay. I'm living, I'm living my 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 alternate life <laughs> that I could have that I would have wanted to have lived. But I loved you on it. Yeah, I like the series. I can't wait to watch it, and we will be tuning in. And I just want to ask you one question. With the last question, with Hispanic Heritage Month starting next month, I'm sorry, next tomorrow, um, which is now being dubbed Latinx Heritage Month. So now I'm going to ask you, as a Latina, what are three things that make you feel proud of being a Latina? Wow. Um, you know, I think that the things that, I think that maybe the things that make me the proudest are the things that I miss the most, mm -hmm. you know? I was born in Brazil and I was raised there till I was 11 and I really miss um, that, that Latinx communities have. Uh, this feeling of the more the merrier, of, mm -hmm. of the takes a village, you know? It's a real cultural thing that's just embedded that, you know, I, I spent my adult life in America, so a lot of my adult programmings are, are American. So when I go back and visit, I'm always shocked by um, how welcoming and how compassionate and how, um, you know, unaware of this uh, barrier there, you know, it's, it's just, I feel very welcome. And I think that that's one of the things in, in, in that I'm proud that I, that I still carry. I try to carry with me. I try to remember with me. And, um, the other two things, let me see. I, I love our food. I was know? just going to say that. <laughs> our food. There, there. I just love our food. There's something about a plate, you know. I, 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 I miss plates of food <laughs> that are, like, complete, you know. Something that doesn't, and, and just hilarious. Yeah. Beans, like, even if we had pasta, we had rice and beans. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's insane. Totally. It's true. But it's, like. But it, it's like the comedic aspect of like this, this truth. And, and I do, I do miss that. I, you know, I think um, American culture has a lot of, um, of course there is an, an incredible cuisine and plates as well, but there is this immediacy about, um, 
eating and going, you know, grabbing and going, being something convenient. And I really do miss, uh, you know, sitting down. And Those sit down dinners, yeah. And grew up with my dad even. Yeah, I grew up with my dad even being able to come home from work for lunch, you know, and he'd come home from work for lunch and get to spend it with us and then go back. And those are just things that I miss that I still think are incredibly valuable, th those little things that we forget. And then the third, I, I, I love the, the, the diversity of the languages in, in the Latin world. You know, I, I know that most of the Latin world speaks Spanish, but playing this role, uh, Shay is from Honduras. Honduran Spanish is very different in the totally. way that it sounds and the way that you, you put the words together and you piece things together. And that's fascinating to me, you know, how, how the same, but how wildly different, different and exciting. Yeah, it's completely different and exciting. So I, 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 I'm proud of that and I hope that slowly but surely we understand that like, you know, it's not one thing that there's like this variety and rich different culture with every single different country. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to be, to be playing a role that represents that and, and, and to be able to play somebody who's so good at, at their job you know i grew up around a lot of a, a lot of inspiring people to me and i'm stoked that i get to play somebody that that represents that and we are happy and proud to have you as a latina represent us on tv in such an amazing role so congratulations muchas gracias te mando un abrazo i don't know anything in portuguese so i think i say anything in portuguese but otro un abrazo un beso que quiere <laughs> I, 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 I love it. I love it. And there you can see our variety. So thank you so much. Felicidades. We will be tuning in. And once again, thank you for your time. And we love chatting with you. Thank you so much. Bye. Un beso. All right. Un beso.